Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys, thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel guys If you have a vehicle made by General Motors such as guys Chevy, Buick, GMC or Cadillac guys And you have the following code B0015, your airbag light is on, stay with us guys, we'll explain what causes that now guys Quick introduction, we will guys have more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop guys Because our mission here at the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can So please guys subscribe to the channel and like the video for all the work we do here guys and all the free information we provide to you if you want to save even more money guys if you need any parts or tools check out the link in the description of the video below guys and you can purchase pr uh, parts for your car for a really good price fast shipping as well so we have guys that chevy cruise here that uh, has a code b0015 but any general motors vehicles if you have that code guys should be that way we will explain uh, what we'll be doing here and how we are going to solve that code now so now, if I start the car, guys, you're going to notice that the airbag light will be on. Okay, let me start it for you quick. Airbag light will stay on, guys. Check it out now. We have the hood warning and then service airbag right there. So, what we'll do, we'll turn the car off and we're going to turn the ignition on only like that. We have the scanner, okay, connected to the OBD port, okay, right there. You just connect it to your OBD port usually It's located under the steering wheel somewhere So, with the ignition being on, scanner connected guys Okay, let me show you what we'll be doing now If you guys on the market for a good scanner, I would definitely recommend this one This is one of the best scanners for the money Guys, it's amazing and it can pay itself off in one time use Check out the link in the description of the video below You can read and delete codes and see live data from every computer in your car And check out guys how many cars that thing supports It's simply guys amazing So, I'm going to go back Select General Motors here That's why I said it will work on any General Motors vehicle if you have that code Then we're going to select manual selection We'll select 2015 passenger car Chevy Cruise then okay let me show you here 1.8 engine it's loading okay other type of radio we don't care about the radio system now we'll select diagnostics control unit and here guys we're going to select inflatable restraint sensing and diagnostic module okay perfect now Trouble codes that we have Check it out now guys B0015 It says current code which means it's happening right now as we're scanning the system and it's requesting the airbag light to be on Mio status means airbag light This code guys okay, indicates driver seat belt retractor pretensioner deployment loop open So we guys have problem okay, with the driver side seat belt so, if I go to live data, I want to show you something guys, what we can do quick here Deployment loop configuration, which is super handy on General Motors vehicles Okay, we can select driver seat belt retractor pretensioner This is loop 5, deployment loop 5 So we will go to deployment loop 1 through 14 We will select loop 5 and the resistance that we have it's in red guys 25.5 and it should be around 2.2 to 2.7 ohms Okay, and ours It's terrible guys, you can see 25.5 So what that means, let me turn the car off guys Every time you work on your airbag system you have to disconnect your car battery at least one hour before the repair And if you're not qualified and certified, do not do the repair guys Because those things they can kill you and your passengers so uh, consider that entertaining video guys and not a how-to video but we'll show you how we fixed our problem so we two guys that cover off okay to inspect the uh, driver seat belt and you either guys your car was in an accident and what happened okay uh, the seat belt wasn't replaced and uh, it pretty much blew up what happens it takes that slack out of the belt or that connector is loose guys or the wires are loose in our case I have the car battery disconnected everything is disconnected already and I'm going to attempt guys okay to reconnect it and see if a loose if it was just a loose connection so let me just go ahead reconnect it and I'll show you how to do that so I got I'm getting the connector in now I need to push that orange piece in all the way it's stuck guys so we will go ahead uh, connect the car battery and we'll continue 
Air battery has been reconnected now guys, I'm going to turn the ignition on. Okay, ignition is on. Now if we check guys the resistance, okay, F loop 5, okay, what well, it says 0 0.3. So this is, okay, this is a little bit low, but I'll go ahead. Okay, I'll go ahead and, okay, let me open it one more time here to check what's going to see. It says 0 0.3, so it's still, guys, okay, it's still loose. Why? Because I didn't have that orange thing all the way in. So you have to make sure, guys, that's not the case because it looks like the orange piece is pushed in, but it's not, guys. And don't do what I do. I didn't disconnect the battery and I was still messing with it. Now we have 2.3, guys. Our airbag light turn off on its own because we have a good, really good resistance. And now if we click to read the code it should say that the code is there but it's not current okay the code is not current and now what we can do guys here we can just click clear DTC now we don't have any codes we fixed that guys thank you for watching please subscribe to your channel for more videos and see you guys next time